Love this podcast? Support it and sponsor today. Simply head to OzCastNetwork.com for details. It's The In Show, Australia's only show dedicated to innovation from Adelaide, Australia. David Grice and Troy Simcock doing the podcast thing and talking innovation and entrepreneurs and startups and people really making a difference. Those that see problems that they think they can solve and they just throw everything at it to, you know, make our world a better place, David. They do, and they bring other people along for the ride as well. Talking about bringing people along for the ride, I've known uh, our next guest for some years, but it it isn't until you really step back and realise who she is and the impact that she's had. You remember the song Gautier um, crowd? It was a worldwide hit, somebody that I used to know. Yeah, yeah, I know that well. That film clip was quite iconic. It included body painting, and Emma Hack was responsible for doing that. That video now has had well over one billion views. Wow. Unbelievable. Showing that, you know, something that, you know, was an art at local fairs, you know, for the kids has now gone on to become this sort of massive thing. Um, with global implications. What Emma has created is quite phenomenal. Absolutely extraordinary. Um, and it's really, really incredible too that uh, that she's looking, we've got a bit of a theme of community this week with David Pearson and, and, and also with Eva Balan Vanuk from Microsoft. Um, but Emma's talking about the importance of community when building your business. As, as I'm older now, um, I think the way that we created back in the day and the way we create now are two very, very different things. So back in the day, I think people were very sol- solitary and that's the way that we did it, you know, and it probably came from the 80s more than anything. It's like, you know, survival of the fittest, blah, 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 you know, get in, get out, do what you got to do and not really care about other people so much. Um, but I think now business is a lot more open and it's, um, you know, like when you go into businesses and everybody's sort of working together and it's all very open environment. So the real innovative businesses do that. And it's where I'm heading with what I'm trying to do in my gallery as well, creating community, because you can only be just as strong being one person. But if you've got 100 people behind you and everybody is thinking in a similar way or in a way that, you know, they want to help other people or be a part of something. And I think because we live in this world where social media really alienates people, like I think those conversations don't get had that used to be had, like where everyone would catch up and have a drink or whatever. Now you look at tables of people and they're all sitting on their iPhones um, and that whole disconnected society. I think when it comes to creating a work environment, people are really desiring more. Mm. And I think if you're smart in business, you'll be buoyant. Be innovative in the way that you can open to change, open to um, letting other people in and but protect yourself I always give people a little test to see you know where they sort of sit in my life and you know how much I can rely on them and then if I can't rely on them then don't expect too much from them you know and that's where they sort of sit in that little land there and that's okay you know they don't have to be anything more than that Mm -hmm. but the ones that do want to give then find ways that you can give back to them and how you can sort of I guess um Mm -hmm. I create a bit of life for each other or, you know, introduce them. Like one of the things I really noticed when I was overseas, you know, in the late 90s, early 2000s, and that was never done here, um, was that, you know, I'd be somewhere and start talking about what I did and people were like, oh, wow, that's amazing. You know, like how can I introduce you to so-and-so and so-and-so and so-and-so? And I think the real big problem with Australia back then was no one did that. Mm-hmm. And But I think we held everything because there wasn't much... Like, you're fighting for things here as well so much. So, yeah, and but I think Australia is now changing and because we're open to dealing with people all around the world now and, you know, I think, yeah, the innovative way of sort of, I guess, creating and involving community and sort of creating this sort of space where people, you know, can... Uh, add ideas and not feel incredibly judged and all that kind of stuff is really important. That was Emma Hack, body painter and artist and the lady responsible for the body painting in Gautier's film clip, somebody that I used to know that's uh, clocked over one billion views. Unbelievable. Now, tomorrow, if you've only just joined us for the podcast for the first time this week, everything that you missed throughout the week you're going to hear in one big hit. Absolutely, I love that because it just puts everything in context. And you know, we have a great chat with David Pearson, and uh, and you hear from Emma, and you hear from Eva, and it's a, a forty minute, you know, audio fest for your ears. Exactly right. So whack it on in the car on the way to work, or perhaps when you're cooking dinner, you hear the whole show. That's the next in show podcast. Love this podcast? Support it and sponsor today. Simply head to OzcastNetwork.com for details.